Hi, students. In the last class, we have discussed the effect of dielectric on capacitance. Let us now continue. That's the last class we have discussed that. If you are filling the capacitor completely with a dielectric, so filling completely, then capacitance becomes K times. That is what we have seen, right? Now let us consider it is not completely filled. Let us take like this. These are now capacitor plates. Suppose a charge is a Q naught plus Q. Okay, it is a minus Q naught and this is plus Q naught. Let us now insert a capa insert a dielectric. Insert a dielectric. It is not completely filling. Let us take having the same area. This is now thickness equal to T and total separation equal to D. So we are taking a dielectric substance having same area. Same area means area of the plates and area of the slab both are same. But coming to thickness, it is not equal to D. Okay. Now, in this case, what is a capacitance? Then say how to calculate. So, coming to capacitance, the calculation of that, the so Q upon potential difference. So, now we have to focus charge by potential difference. Now, see how to find potential difference. In the absence of this one, field equal to E naught, right? Or we can say, in this region and in this region field equal to E naught. So I can write potential difference equal to E naught into remaining gap is D minus T. That is remaining gap. Okay. Total is D. This is now T. Remaining gap is now D minus T. So in that region field is E naught. Next. Coming to inside the slab, net value E naught by K into T. So this is giving us potential difference between the plates. This is giving us potential difference between the plates. Right? Then see capacitance. So it is equal to in the place of E naught, see what we can write. In the place of E naught, it is sigma upon epsilon naught, where sigma is Q naught by A. Now substitute that value here. So C equal to Q naught upon, I'm taking E naught outside. Remaining is D minus T plus T by K. Now substitute this value Q naught by A epsilon naught in this place. Then Q naught gets cancelled. Remaining is epsilon naught A by D minus T plus T by K. Okay. That means if you observe carefully, because of the insertion of the dielectric, potential difference between the plates is reduced. It is potential difference between the plates is reduced. That means field also reduced between the plates. Okay. That means we can store more charge because of the dielectric. So now capacitance is epsilon naught A by D minus T plus T by K, right? For example, 
For example, let us take two dielectrics, fill in the space completely. Suppose these are now capacitor plates. Let us take. There are two dielectrics. Let us say dielectric one. That gap is almost zero. Dielectric one, we can say thickness equal to T1. Dielectric constant is K1. And take one more dielectric, fill in the remaining gap. Fill in the remaining gap. So it is now like this. So thickness is a T2, dielectric constant is K2. See how to find the capacitance. Again, same logic. How we are finding the potential difference? Potential difference is equal to inside the first one field equal to E naught by K1 into T1. That is a potential difference across the first dielectric. This is potential difference across the first dielectric. In the same way, across the second one, across the second one, E naught by K2 into T2. Again, we have to take C equal to Q naught upon potential difference. Then in the place of, now substitute the value in the place of E naught, Q naught by E epsilon naught. Then see what we get. Capacitance equal to Capacitance equal to epsilon naught A by T1 by K1 plus T2 by K2. Okay. Capacitance equal to epsilon naught A by T1 by K1 plus T2 by K2. Means if you are given number of dielectrics filling the space like this, then this is a way of calculating capacitance, right? Let us now focus solving problems. Let's see the first one. A parallel plate capacitor is charged and the charging battery is then disconnected. Charging battery is then disconnected. That means what happens? Charge does not change. Okay, because no battery means charge remains the same. If the plates of the capacitor are moved farther apart by means of insulating handles. <coughs> so this is a question asked in 1987 for two marks. So your key point is battery is disconnected. Therefore, charge does not change. Okay, separation is increased. C capacitance epsilon naught A by D. Now D value increased means capacitance will increase. I am repeating C equal to epsilon naught A by D. Now D is increased, therefore capacitance will decrease. Right? So charge does not change. So first is not correct. Voltage across the plates increases. We can see no battery. There is no battery means charge constant. Charge constant means I will write here. So first condition battery is removed. Battery removed means we can write charge is a constant. That does not change. Charge constant means coming to field. Sigma upon epsilon naught means field also constant. Right? Potential difference. Potential difference equal to field into separation between the plates. Now separation is increased. That means potential will increase. 
So potential difference across the plates will increase. Right. Next, coming to potential energy. Potential energy equal to since Q is a constant, I am writing Q square by 2C. So Q constant, but coming to C, C is now epsilon naught A by D. D is now increased. So C value will decrease. So C decreased means potential energy will increase. Okay. So very simple logic. Now C options. So charge remains constant. So option A is not correct. Voltage or potential difference across the plates increases. Correct only. Capacitance decreases. Okay. Decreases. Electrostatic energy stored in the capacitor increases. So options are B and D. Okay. Let us see next one. A parallel plate air capacitor. Air capacitor means between the plates, medium is air. Okay. Is connected to a battery. The quantities, charge, voltage, electric field, and energy associated with its capacitor are given by Q0, V0, E0, and U0 respectively. A dielectric slab is now introduced to fill the space between the plates with the battery still in connection. So battery is not removed. Okay. Then what happens? Charge becomes K times, right? Energy becomes K times. No change in potential, no change in field, right? Therefore, this is correct. This is wrong. This is wrong. And D is correct. Okay. So A and D directly from the theory only. Let us see next one. Two identical metal plates are given positive charges Q1 and Q2 and condition Q2 less than Q1 respectively. If they are now brought close together to form a parallel plate capacitor with a capacitance C, the potential difference between them is. So this is the question asked in 1999 for two marks. So first write down the given data. Two identical metal plates given positive charges. We have to calculate potential difference. So taking two plates. Given charges Q1, both are positive. Q1 and Q2. And condition is Q1 greater than Q2. And we have solved these kind of questions in Gauss law, right? Large metal plates given charges. So we have discussed like on outer faces, charge will be same, which is equal to sum of the charges by two. So on outer faces, Q1 plus Q2 by two. Coming to here, Q1 plus Q2 by two. Okay. Now coming to inside, suppose this is a Q and this is minus Q. So on this one, total value must be equal to, must be equal to Q1. That means what I can write here, Q1 plus Q2 by 2 plus Q should be equal to Q1, right? That means a Q value how much? 2q1 minus q1 that is q1 minus q2 2q1 minus q1 okay minus q2 by 2 right so this is now charge this is now 
charge on the inner face of the plate. Okay. And remember, field is only because of the inner charges. See carefully. Imagine unit of positive charge inside. Okay. This will repel right side. This also repels, that is left side. Both are cancelled. Coming to inside, this is repelling. This is attracting. So in between the plates, the field is only because of the inner charges. So when we are writing Q equal to CV, remember that the Q stands for charge on the inner faces of the plates. Okay. So keep this point in mind. Now potential difference V equal to Q by C. So Q value Q1 minus Q2 by 2. Okay. Now C options. That is Q1 minus Q2 by 2C. Right. So option D is the correct one. Let us see next one. Consider the situation shown in the figure. The capacitor A has a charge Q on it, whereas B is uncharged. The charge appearing on the capacitor B long time after the switch is closed. When switch is closed, then see what we can do here. It is again same as the previous one. Means in Gosla, what we have discussed, exactly the same thing. So first write down the given data. So the C is A. Switch. And this is now B. And given charges are here on inner phase plus Q and here minus Q, right? Now see how to visualize the problem. So this question we can understand like this. So take like this. So plus Q minus Q. I'm taking question is like given plus Q charge to this plate and for this plate given minus Q charge. Okay. So now there are four plates. See how to solve means. First key point is on outer faces charge will be equal to half of the total charge. So total value how much? Q minus Q total value zero. Outer faces zero. Zero, right? Now this is, this plate is now isolated. Since it is now isolated, its total charge must be constant. Here no charge is given. Therefore, this must be zero. When this is zero, this is also zero, right? Next, coming to here, this is zero. Since it is now isolated, total charge must be constant. Therefore, it must be Q. When this is Q, this will be minus Q. Okay, now. So there is no need to use the word capacitor. Just directly four plates are there. Okay. That means on this capacitor, there is no charge. I think you got the point here. Just like four large plates given plus Q minus Q. Okay. Let us see next one. Two identical capacitors have the same capacitance. See, one of them is charged to potential V1 and the other to V2. Likely charged plates are then connected. Then the decrease in energy of the combined system is so two identical capacitors connecting likely charged plates. Right? See how to solve it.
let us take capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 okay suppose this is a plus this is a minus plus minus capacity c1 c2 they are charged to v1 v2 okay see now how they are connected now they are connected likely charged together that means this is a plus this is also plus this is minus this is also minus okay so v1 c1 v2 c2 now see what we can say here so when we are connecting like this charge flows from one capacitor to other capacitor until both having same capacity until both having the same capacity that means if i'm if i'm taking let us say this left plates okay these two plates see total charge how much total charge c1 v1 plus c2 v2 that is total charge okay now what we can say here let us take after having equilibrium after having equilibrium we can say that here charge is q1 here charge is q2 okay capacitance is a c1 this is now capacitance c2 so first condition total charge must be constant so total charge how much means c1 v1 plus c2 v2 that should be equal to q1 plus q2 that should be equal to q1 plus q2 so first we have taken conservation of charge right now second one the potential differences across these two must be same and that is given by q1 by c1 should be equal to q2 by c2 right q1 by c1 should be equal to q2 by c2 we just observe now number of unknowns q1 q2 two unknowns and we got two equations right so now we can solve for q1 and q right now we have to find loss in the energy of the combined system loss that loss you can say in the form of heat that loss equal to initially energy was half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square initial value minus final value half c1 v square plus half c2 v square right because finally they have same potential difference so half c1 plus c2 into v square and after solving this we are going to get half c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 into v1 plus r minus v2 whole square okay so here what I have taken conservation of a charge okay first condition that's why c1 v1 plus c2 v2 sum equal to q1 plus q2 next equating their potentials q1 by c1 should be equal to q2 by c2 solving these two we get q1 q2 then we can find final potential energy all the knowing initial potential energy now initial value minus final value that gives loss now after simplification we are going to get half c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 into v1 plus r minus v2 whole square now we have to focus when we have to take plus when we have to take minus okay so when we are connecting plus to plus 
minus to minus loss is less okay therefore we have to use minus get the point we have to take minus when we are connecting plus to plus minus to minus because loss will be less if we are connecting plus to minus minus to plus the loss will be more the loss is more it should be more value this is more if you take a plus a v1 plus v2 whole square if we connect plus 2 minus minus 2 plus okay so keep this result in mind now in this problem we are given same capacitance so c1 equal to c2 then see what is the answer half c into c by c plus c right it becomes c by 2 okay c into c by c plus c becomes c by 2 connecting plus 2 plus minus to minus that is what mentioned in the question right that's why it is v1 minus v2 whole square loss is less that is now our answer okay so keep this point in mind because using frequent that frequently that result okay so answer is it is option c right v1 minus v2 whole square minus let us see next one this is based on the previous result only see what is given a two microfarad capacitor is a charge as shown in the figure the percentage of its energy its stored energy dissipated after the switch s is turned to position 2 so charging this one after charging we are changing the switch to 2 okay so what is the percentage of the energy dissipated given 2 and 8 given 2 and 8 this is simply basing on the previous result just now what we have discussed given 2 and 8 loss equal to that loss equal to half c1 c2 upon c1 plus c2 v1 plus r minus v2 whole square and you can see in this you can see in this this is a 2 microfarad this is 8 microfarad this is a charged and this is uncharged means for this potential is 0 so v2 0 v1 is non zero take v1 as v okay that means it is now half 2 into 8 by 2 plus 8 v1 that is v here no plus no minus because it is only 0 whole square he is asking percentage okay by initial energy get the point so by initial value that is a half c means 2 half c v square so initial value by half c v square we want percentage so into 100 into 100 into 100 then see what we get 2 2 cancelled here 2 2 cancelled v square v square cancelled remaining is now 8 by 10 into 100 that means it is now 80 percent 80 percent is lost okay like this we can use that previous result so what's the answer it is option option d okay so we can solve some more questions in the next lecture.